G'day, welcome back to the channel. So today I thought I would do a video about how to export a timeline and import it into a new project. But before that, if you want to see something, we don't understand something resolve, make sure to comment below and I will do my best to make sure that dream comes true. So here we have our timeline here and this is from my previous video. And as you can see, there's a couple other grades or other shots anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to export this timeline and then import it into a new timeline, into a new project. Now there's one little thing that may slip you up, but we'll get to that when we get to that. So first thing we wanna do is we wanna export the timeline, obviously. But what you wanna do is you wanna go up to File, Export, Timeline, or Control Shift 0 or O, <laughs> I guess that's an O. And then you wanna go ahead and select your destination folder. So I've made a new one, which is in my D drive. And just done the timeline and we'll call it Johnny Wick and Johnny Wick O. And as you can see, DaVinci Resolve timeline files dot DRT. So that is our timeline file. Make sure that is selected, not any of these other things. Now you go to save. Now that's exported that timeline just like that, super fast. Now if you look at our timeline, we actually have a few gaps, plus we have footage in our master bin here, which is raw. So let's see if that exports out and imports into a new timeline. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go down to the little home, little house, and I'm gonna make a new project and we're gonna call it Timeline with a capital I and an N. I'm gonna go create. I'm not gonna set anything up because I want to show what happens if we don't do a couple little things. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to go to File. Then we're going to go to Import. Then we're going to go to Timeline. Then we're going to find our timeline that we exported before, which is in our Everything is Meh timeline folder. So Johnny Wico. Then we just go Open. And as you can see, Resolve has imported our timeline. And not only that, it's imported all the little gaps, but we might have a problem. And this is our problem. You need to set up your parameters that you had before. So we need to change our frame rate. We need to change our timeline resolution. But most importantly, what we need to change is we need to change our color management. Now we've been speaking about this a fair bit in the last few videos, and this is why our footage looks like green town. What you want to do, very important, color management. You always talk about this. Go to color management. The video was made for the free version of Resolve, this particular grade. So under color science, all we're going to do is go to DaVinci YRGB, color manage. DaVinci Resolve is going to work it all out for us. Save. Bang. Now we have the grade that we'd previously done and the timeline that we'd previously done. So everything is fantastic. So that's it. That's all you have to do. Just make sure all your settings are in the right place and you won't have a problem at all. So that's our video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to like and subscribe. If you want to see anything else, make sure to put it down in the comments below. I'm always happy to respond and read people's questions. Of course, you'd have to read it before you respond to it. So if you ever want to see anything, make sure to write the comments below and have a great day.